Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America and people, especially liberals in this country today, they're just weak. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out and they help our channel continue to grow. And if you're not watching us on YouTube, please visit that address in the lower right hand corner. It's youtube.com forward slash at Explain America. And when you get there, please hit subscribe absolutely free. It really helps us out. Guys, we are at a time right now where weakness, uh, it's just become common, almost celebrated. Like, if you're hurt, if you're broken, people celebrate this. That's the reason. Listen, let me tell you something. I make videos every day of life. This is my full-time job right here. You're looking at my full-time job, which is an awesome job, right? It, this is a great job to have. I get to sit here and talk to people about the truth that they wouldn't normally know, and I get to analyze the news and analyze what's going on. It's a great job. I love it. But I make seven videos every day on the weekdays, five a day on the weekends, and I'm off one day a week, okay? Now, here's what goes into making a video. You got to set up the lighting or you have a crew set up your lighting. You gotta set up your camera. You gotta know what you're gonna say. All of that takes time and planning. So for these people, when you see the videos of them crying, breaking down over Trump's victory, none of them are like this with a phone in their hand, right? None of them are like that. The, the phone is set, it's, it's placed, or the camera's placed, and then the action happens. It's set up, it's choreographed, it's orchestrated. They want to do this. They're doing it on purpose. Why are they doing it on purpose? Because weakness is celebrated. I come from a time where if you were hurt crying as a man, especially, you hid that because you were a man. And you didn't want people to see you in your weak moments. It's not that you didn't have them. You just didn't want people to see them. Now, I'm not saying that it's wrong for people to see weakness. You know, you lose a family member, a pet that you love. You, you know, something serious happens. You got a disease, something like that. Well, yeah, you should cry. That's serious business. You people lost an election. Now, Rob Reiner, you guys remember Meathead from All in the Family? He has, um, this is, I'm not kidding you here. He has, and he posted about this, checked himself into a facility to quote, and I'm quoting him, heal from his pain. Heal from his pain. Bro, you lost an election that you weren't even in. You know what happened when Joe Biden became president? Donald Trump didn't. I got up the next day and went to work. My life continued on as normal because I'm not a baby. I'm not a weak-kneed little punk baby who needs to be rocked in his snuggly. Because it lost an election. Oh, you coward. You you absolute... Be nice, Carmine. You're on YouTube. You're weak. Let's put it that way. You are weak. You are... You didn't even have to act to play Meathead. You actually are him. You're that guy. You're that guy. There was no acting involved. You are that pansy that we saw on our TV screens decades ago. You're still that guy absolute weakness and then you post about it online like you're proud of it like you're looking to get points for it where does that fall on the scale of liberal victimhood i'm starting to lose track you have so many damn different victim classes i don't know where to start and where to end you're an absolute disgrace you should be ashamed of yourself checking into a facility not for something serious but because of an election I'm all, listen, you got to check yourself into a facility because you got some kind of mental problem or you had a nervous breakdown or something. That's a serious thing. And I feel for you. And that's not weak. That's not weak. Checking yourself into a facility because something serious is going on is actually strong. You're doing the right thing for yourself and your family. But to do it because of an election is weak and pathetic. I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure nobody watching me has done that, so I don't think I'm offending anybody. Again, 
If you've checked yourself into a facility or you're getting mental help, listen, I've gotten mental help. A lot of people get mental help. A lot of people need mental help, right? A lot of stresses in this world. I'm not making fun of that at all. Again, I've gotten mental help. So it's not that. And I got, I, it, for anxiety, I'll be totally honest with you guys. You know, for anxiety, for panic, I've gotten help for that. Doesn't work all the time, but I'm trying. So I don't, I don't poo-poo that. I don't mock that. But I mock being so weak that an election can break you. Yeah, I do mock that. I absolutely mock that. That's not a serious thing. Millions, tens of millions of people voted. It's not just you. Ridiculous and pathetic. Guys, I want you I want your opinion on this. Please let me know in the comments.